All right, everybody, welcome to a new Pokemon card opening today. Uh, as you can probably see, I'm in a different environment. I finally made it back home to my apartment in Nashville. <clears throat> and I am currently about to open this Scarlet and Violet 151 Ultra Premium Collection. Uh, excuse the mess a little bit over here. Uh, we're in the middle of reorganizing the entire apartment. So just random junk is a little bit strewn everywhere, but let's get to opening this. So there's a little bit of a weird packaging quirk here, but it was helpful in getting a grip on this. So that's nice. that and I will throw this to the side and dispose of it later. So as you can see we got the box here. So pretty nice little cutout here. You can see all the information on the back here. Might need to move my lamp next time that I restart recording here in a minute. Anyway here is the box itself. There's a magnet holding it shut it felt like. And what have we here? Looks like you got some promo cards sticking out the top here. So a nice little sleeve here. This is actually incredibly nice. I really like it. This is nice thick. I'm not exactly sure what it is. It feels like cardboard layered with something to make it smooth, but it's really nice feeling. So let's get these promo cards out real quick. So first we have a Mu EX. Let me see if I can get the camera, there we go, camera focused on it. You can kind of see the gradient here. And it comes with a code card, of course. Next up we have, this one's the metal one. Not quite sure how they want me to get it out. Let me do this one next. Uh, we have the Mewtwo card here. Uh, it's got a little bit of hollow on it, but not as much as the Mew card did. And no code card in this one. And now this is the one that I'm interested in, how to get the metal card out of here. Okay, it looks like this folds up, but it, I think it's, oh, this is like a little, uh, like a little stand so you can stand it up and show off your cards. That's pretty cool. I'm still not exactly sure. I guess you're just supposed to pull it straight out because of this little divot here. Yep, I guess so. Okay, I'll put this to the side real quick. So this is, of course, the metal card. It looks pretty cool, looks pretty cool. The texture is really cool, too. You can kind of see it on the back, really, where the type of printing they use for this metal card, but I like it. It's quite nice. All right, I'm going to stop recording and then restart. All right, we're starting the recording now. So as you can see, I went ahead and sleeved our promos over here. I'm going to open this up and see what else we got. So it's a quite a nice little presentation. Honestly, uh, I think I did prefer the presentation of the Sword and Shield Charizard Ultra, Ultra Premium Collection, but this one still looks really nice. I quite like having the packs to the side like this. So we should have 16 packs of 151 here. There's one. And another stack over here, so that's exciting to get ripping into. And then from there, we got a little tray. We've got our coin that we can flip here. It's a Mew, kind of hard to see. Uh, we got, of course, our burn and poison markers, some pink dye. It looks like we got a deck box here, which looks pretty nice. I might dig into that later. But for now, I'm a little more interested in the packs and what else is in here. So first, it looks like we have a playmat. Let me get the box out of the way now that it's empty. And of course, we're going to break the seal on this playmat. I feel like this would be a nice thing to put the packs on to open them. All right, sorry about that. I was having to fight my playmat to actually stay rolled out. So 
let's go ahead and just jump right in, grab the first pack off of this stack, and see what we get today. It's really tight. There we go. Put that over there. Code card. And let's just go straight into it since it's a Scarlet and Violet subset. I don't feel the need to rearrange them. So we got Cubone, Vulpix, Magnemite, Caterpie, Rapidash, Nidorina, Raticate, Clefairy is our first reverse. Beedrill is our other reverse, and I see some kind of border here. Oop. Jinx EX. Pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve these real quick, and then be right back with the next pack. Alright, let's jump right into pack number two. So let's see if the old method's going to work here to open this pack. Yep. And toss that there, put the code card in the code card snack, and let's see, we got, oh, let me get the brightness a little bit, there we go, Geodude, Jigglypuff, can't need to find a better way to hold on to these, Staryu, Charmander, Graveler, RK9, Kingler, first reverse is a Doug Trio, second is a Tangela, and we got a champ for our rare. Pretty neat. All right, pack number three. Let's see if I can get the lighting a little bit better. Sorry this video is so rough. I had a pretty good setup at grandma's house for recording and then said, no, I'd rather do this one at home. And then I forgot how much mess was in the way of everything here. So this could have been a much smoother experience had I had a little more time this week to actually clean up. Code card, of course, and Meowth, Execute, Clefairy, let me focus the camera, there we go, Machop, Cycling Road, Scyther, Charmeleon. Our first reverse is a Butterfree. We got a Rattata, and another Ditto say another because I opened one of those in the last 151 thing that I opened. So pretty neat. Let's go ahead and sleeve those. All right, picking up where we left off. Put the pack open here. Drop that there. Put that there. And do this here. We also had the one that fell on the floor from the last one. And... Here is our pack, Shelder, focus, Helix Fossil, Slowpoke, Magmar, Hypno, Wartortle, love the color on that, that's very nice, Polyrath, first reverse is Porygon, second is Graveler, and an Aerodactyl. Ooh, and we got the special Hollow Energy, that's pretty cool. So. That's going there, that'll go there. We can throw these guys in our reverse here. There's that. Let me go ahead and sleeve it. I decided I didn't want to cut the camera again to try to keep this to a, a more reasonable number of jump cuts. And there goes that in the regular rare stack. And new pack. PSA score deducted, let's go. Oh, they couldn't have landed any more perfectly to sound like death. <laughs> so, code card is right here. And let's take a look at these. Pidgey, Poliwhirl, Kakuna, Poliwag, Dugong, Seeking, Hitmonchan, Muck, looks like our first reverse here. Uh, ooh, Mr. Mime, that's nice. And a Vaporeon is our rare, that's pretty nice. Of course, I would drop a pack that has something as nice as a gallery Mr. Mime in it, but 
um, you know, that's just the way that it goes. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve these and then restart the recording. And recording commences. New pack. Try not to drop them. No. <laughs> Hi, Nadja. My cat is trying to say hello. I might have to put her on the video here in a minute. Or let her get on it herself. Hey, baby. <laughs> this has been a much more chaotic recording than the last time that I did one of these. But you know what? That is okay. It really harkens back to the old pack openings I had on here from when I was, I don't know, about 10 years ago. So I'd have been about 15. Uh, those were incredibly low quality videos for many reasons, but... You know, just making me a little nostalgic here for the good old days, quote unquote. All right, let's move on. Machop, Porygon, Electabuzz, that's pretty cool artwork. Coughing, that's cute. Golbat, Leftovers, Persian. Coughing once again, this time it's our reverse. Ride on is our second reverse, and Dodrio is our rare. That's pretty neat. Right, cut. Right, next one. Whew, if only Tucker was here, then it'd be a true retro card pack opening for me. Okay, here we go. Code card. And Jigglypuff. Star you. Focus. There we go. Charmander. Spiro. Machoke. Dugong, Hitmonchan, first reverse is a Cloyster, second is Krabby, and we got a Flareon. Pretty neat. Alright, to make this a little more streamlined, I got some sleeves out so I can just do it on video instead of having to cut every time. Next pack, I've already lost count of how many packs I've done of this already. Well, I cannot get these open today. That's something I've noticed about Pokemon packs in the past uh, year and a half or so, is they seem to be very inconsistent on how hard they are to open. So I'll buy a box of packs and they'll be all super easy to rip open. And then I'll buy a very next box, same place, and have completely different. Uh, like this, where they're actually incredibly difficult. Hi, Nadja. It's okay. Goldeen, Weeping Bell, Ghastly. Paris, Magneton, Nidoqueen, Victory Bell, first reverse is a Machop, second is a Seal, and we got a Jolteon. I believe that's all three of the evolutions from uh, the original 151 so far. So let me throw that down. Let's see. The reverses were these two. Cards over here. And grab a sleeve. Let's leave our Jolteon. So that's pretty neat. Next pack is right here. I've not even been keeping up with how many I'm pulling off of each stack, so who knows? All right. Ponyta, Pikachu, Farfetched, Antique Old Ammer, Butterfree, Lapras. Cycling Road. First reverse is a Dodrio. Second reverse is a Gloom. And we got an Omastar, which I really liked the artwork on this when I first saw it. So that's pretty neat. Go ahead and pop that there. Let's see. I also want to sleeve this because it's a reverse rare. We can drop our reverse here, this here, and of course sleeve our cards real quick. Almost star looks pretty cool. So our secret rare stack right here is getting a little bit shorter than the other ones, which is unfortunate, but that's how it goes. I oh, PSA score deducted once again. I opened uh, four packs from a Zapdos box, and I think all four of them had at least a double rare or better in them. So this set has been wild 
in terms of pull rate so far. So let's see, Tangela, Grimer, Psyduck, Ekans, Muck, Daisy's Help, Venomoth. First reverse is a Slowpoke, Charmeleon, and Beedrill. So I think now is a good point to stop the recording for a second. So, All right, a new pack, here we go. So far, this box has not been great in terms of what the packs have held, but there's always time for that to turn around. A single one of the secret art Charizards would pretty much completely improve this. So code card and Bellsprout, Magikarp, Oddish, Mankey, Sea King, Butterfree, Lapras, We've got a Pidgeot, which is pretty good, pretty good. Got a Diglett and a Raichu. I always quite liked Raichu, so that's pretty neat. So, oh, and we got the special hollow when it comes to the artwork on our energy card. Man, I cannot get that out for some reason. So let's go ahead and just drop these real quick. Anyway, next pack. Voltorb, Krabby, Sandshrew, Seal, Big Air Balloon, Firo, Primeape, that's pretty cool, Tentacool, it's our first reverse, our second reverse is Mankey, our rare is Gengar, pretty neat. Alright, take another break here real quick. I forgot to mention before I cut that last record, uh, recording, we have another secret or a special hollow energy card from that pack. So let's see, we've got two packs in this stack, two in this stack. So let's go ahead and do one off the top, because why not? Golly, these are way harder to open than they have been recently. Maybe I should start dropping the packs again so we can get another gallery or some other types of special. Horsey, Nidoran, Abra, Diglett, Cloyster, Giovanni's Charisma, Rhydon, Pikachu's our first reverse. <gasps> the Blastoise! This is the secret Blastoise. Let's go. Single-handedly made the whole box a lot more worth it to me. Let's see what our rare is. <gasps> the other Blastoise! <laughs> Let's go! This was way better of a pack than the rest of the box has been. And we also got the special lightning energy. Let's go. You bet these are about to get sleeved. Um, let's go ahead and do that on camera because why not? Reverse. Uh, this one's going to also get one of the hard top loaders whenever I can find one. I probably got one just in the corner of this room. That looks so good. And... We, of course, have the regular Blastoise as well, which honestly, really, I like this almost as much as I like the secret, not because the secret's bad, just they're doing a really good job with the EXs from the more modern sets, making the, you know, with the normal box, but also the cutout kind of reminds me of like the level X days from Diamond and Pearl, except just a little more intense. So that was a really good pack. Let's see if we can continue that luck and pull maybe a Charizard or Venusaur out of this one. I'd also be happy with the galleries of any of the starter lines. Uh, and probably my top most wanted card from this set is the Secret Alakazam EX. So any of those would be a great pull, especially in context of that last one. Code card. What have you for us, pack? Pidgeotto. Magmar. Shelder, Bellsprout, Scyther, Charmeleon, Parasect, Cycling Roads, our first reverse, Golbat, and Starmie. Pretty underwhelming pack given the last one, but you know what? They can't all be winners. So 
I'll go ahead and drop all of these down here. And then we're going to move on to our final two packs. Let's see, I'll start with the bottom one because why not? Let's see what we got. I'm just going to try to pull them straight out here. Maybe, maybe I won't. Okay. What have you for us? Da Duo. <laughs> just tried to tap on the card to focus the camera. My, my, I need to get some more sleep. Let's see. Tentacle, Rattata, Squirtle. Love it. Onyx, Dragonair. Cedra, first reverse is Shand Shru, Drowsy, and a Wheezing. View and the final pack. Time for a Charizard secret. I don't know what it is, but this pack does feel a little bit thicker, which they're supposed to have methods in place to make that not something you can really tell from outside the pack, but I just can't tell. This one feels thicker. Could be nothing, could be my imagination, could be my desire for it to be something more than it is. So let's see, Ponyta, Poliwag, Pikachu, Farfetch'd, Doug Trio, Haunter, Hitmonlee, first reverse is Eevee, second is Kadabra, and our final is Vileplume. So all in all, not the best box I've ever opened. In fact, I would honestly say it's probably one of the lower tier boxes I've ever opened, especially for as many packs as this was. But all in all, it was a pretty neat little time. Um, always enjoy opening several packs at once. And with the pull of this Blastoise right here, which we got my other only four secret rares, that's a one in four pull rate. And I think two of these actually came from the same pack, but with the pull of this, I mean, this card's currently selling for about $42. I'm not in it for the money necessarily, but, um, you know, paying $120 for a box, even with all the coupons I had, this pay only paid about half of the box. So, again, I'm not in it for the money. I'm in it for the enjoyment. So, um, it would always, of course, be nice to have some more double rares or secret rares. But all in all, pretty fun box. Fun time opening it. These... Um, Promo cards here, of course, look great, especially the metal one. always love the metal cards. I've got the Arceus metal cards from the V-Star Premium Collection or whatever it's called. But all in all, that was an opening of the 151 Ultra Premium Collection. As always, any comments or likes are appreciated. And hopefully the next time that you see me opening cards, you're going to see it in a much more put-together area. So thanks for watching.